Hello ladies and gentlemen, animals and other folks. This is a video response to Lifespiller79, a fellow YouTuber. You can check him out for more gaming content, but don't go anywhere yet. I haven't even begun. This is a video response to his video that he did of his five most anticipated games of 2015. Uh, I've never really done one of these before. I've never really done a list of anticipated games because there's no slated time for these games to come out and especially the trend over the past year or so where games are slated to come out and then they get delayed or postponed or just released unfinished and get pay patches excuse me patches on the first day so uh, this is a tentative list we'll say it's a tentative list of games that I'm excited for that are as of right now coming out this year um, so, without further ado, here we go. Number five is Dead Island 2. Um, Dead Island was not the best game. Uh, might have had the best trailer of all time, but it wasn't the best game ever. But I've, I, I've, I've found myself having way more fun with the original Dead Island than I should have had fun with. After reading reviews and hearing friends of mine saying that it was pretty poor. Oh, the combat sucks. Oh, this is bad. Oh, it's just trying too hard to be party party college nudity zombie blah. Like, that's what zombies have always been. Name a dead... Name not name a dead. Name a zombie movie that doesn't have at least some form of sexuality or nudity in it. I hear crickets. I hear crickets. Because there isn't one. And if there is one, it's a B-movie. And if it's a B-movie, it's not a zombie movie. It's a B-movie. That's its own genre. You're talking to the horror master here. And not horror master. Horror master. So Dead Island 2, uh, after Riptide, was a colossal failure. Failure. I can't even pronounce failure because that's how bad it was. Uh, failure. I'm actually really excited for what Techland... Or not Techland. Techland? Techland? Deep Silver. Techland moved on to Dying Light, which I heard is phenomenal. Uh, no, Deep Silver is going to be doing with Dead Island now that Techland is gone. And uh, Granted, Tech Techland had a lot of the creative commerce behind uh, the original Dead Island. I'm kind. I'm just excited for Dead Island 2. Um, yeah, that's my number 5. Number 4. This should not come as a surprise. And uh, frankly, anytime you do an a, a anticipation list... There's always going to be games that go, you know, get trampled under hoof of the big titles. You know, you've got your your bigger titles. I'm not going to say which ones because that'll that might spoil the upcoming parts of the list. But uh, number four is Mighty Number no. Nine. Uh, this game. Oh man, Inafune is a man after my own heart. I mean, he 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 gave this world Mega Man. He gave this world Mega Man. He he birthed one of the most beloved franchises in video games, one of the most beloved NES franchises, one of the most beloved SNES franchises. I mean, even even Mega Man Legends from the PlayStation 1 was such a good game. Legends 2, not well loved, still a good game. And then Mega Man started going downhill in the way that Sonic has, uh, and that hurts my heart because I'm a Sonic fan. But Mighty Number no. Nine is Inafune's thrust back into platformer shooters, and it's his 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 rebirth of the Mega Man franchise, if you will. And I'm I'm super excited for it. I, I was part of the Kickstarting campaign. Um, I, I keep hearing things about it, I keep hearing wonderful things, and I cannot wait for it to come out, so... Mighty number 9, please come out, it's supposed to be quarter number 2 of 2015, we're almost finished with quarter 1, so... Here we go. My number 3 might come as a surprise to some viewers of my channel, and might not come as a surprise to more viewers of my channel. And it's a game that is kind of set aside when other people are discussing games coming up for... 20, or 2015, and it's it's The Witness. Jonathan Blow's second game, The Witness. Uh, his follow-up to Braid, which is 
easily one of if not the greatest indie game of all time um if if not it's it's definitely up there teeters up there with the likes of bastion and you know it's it's the witness is his his take on open world puzzler the way that uh devolver did talos uh talos principle earlier this year or earlier earlier this year 2015 i think it came out at the end of 2014 but talos centrable uh, centrable that doesn't taste well talos principle um is just a phenomenal game and the witness is jonathan blow's take on that open world do it yourself find your way puzzles it, it's it's got that lateral thinking that like anti-chamber has where it's it doesn't give you any hints you just have to look at it and say huh this might work and then it does work and you you feel your brain cogs moving so the witness is definitely definitely top three anticipated of 2015 number two man this was this number two and number one were really tough uh but it had to be done it had to be done one of them had to be pushed back and number two is bloodborne from software's souls spiritual successor it's not part of the soul series officially canon or canonically it's not part of it but it could be question mark but bloodborne the only reason that it got moved back to number two slot is because I have to buy a freaking PS4 just to play it, and I'm not a Sony fan, and I would I would I would be shunned by some of my friends for owning a Sony console that isn't a PlayStation 2. Because, well, a PlayStation 2 is just a phenomenal machine, and it has easily probably the best RPGs of all time released for it. Uh yeah, it's got Tenchu. But anyway. Uh, Bloodborne, I would have to buy a PS4 just to play it because it's not cross-platform like the Dark Souls series. Uh, they're returning to the the original Demon Souls, where it's singular console. Uh, Miyazaki's back on staff. Everything I see about this game looks so great. I mean, they they've incorporated a little bit of roguelike into it as well. Uh, one of the dungeons, I cannot remember the name of it. Uh, look it up on Google. Click up your Googles. Uh, one of the dungeons they designed for it is going to be unique and different and randomized not every time you enter it unique and randomized for every single save file so I play Bloodborne you play Bloodborne you come into you know my world assuming it still has the from software cross cross you know system kind of or cross a co-op y multiplayer wish doobity and you come over and you play with me and my dungeons different than your dungeon it's 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 one of those incorporations of an aspect of a game that you wouldn't expect to see in it. Uh, like nobody would expect Dark Souls Two to have a roguelike dungeon in it because Dark Souls One didn't. But they're doing this to appeal to a more unique experience for their players, and I think it's a great idea. And not only that, but the fast-paced, offensive combat take that they're taking on it rather than the the, the defense only that the entire soul series has had so far where it's basically stamina management raising your shield and lowering it at the right time and learning your guys moves like that's pretty much all the soul series is based on and now bloodborne comes out and it says you need to attack you need to be on the offensive or there's going to be more guys trying to kill you and so bloodborne takes the number two spot very close but it takes my number two anticipation of 2015 games and number one number one I was so close between this and Bloodborne but I, I don't have to buy a PS4 for this in fact I already I already own what I need to own for this it's sitting right back here behind my computer it's my Xbox one and that's the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt oh my god Witcher 3 it's finally coming I've been playing Witcher 2 since it came out I've been playing the Witcher 2 Assassins of Kings expansion, kind of enhanced edition thingy for the Xbox 360. Oh. oh Geralt has such a sweet spot in my heart. Such a good game. Such a good game. For anybody who hasn't played The Witcher 2, this is my plea to you. Before Witcher 3 comes out, don't be one of those guys that buys the new fancy game because everybody else is buying it without playing 2. You can choose to play 1. But you don't have to, because one is only for the PC, 
2 was open to more audiences, and 2 kind of gives you a pretty basic synopsis of what happens in the first game. So, even CD Red Project has come out and said, if you plan on playing Witcher 3, you have to play Witcher 2. They don't want to give you an hour-long cutscene, probably be a two-hour-long cutscene in the beginning of Witcher 3 just to explain the events in the second game, especially considering you can choose the events that happen in the second game. My my choices affected the game differently than your choices in the second game, and so Witcher 3 is is it is my most anticipated game of 2015. It is my most anticipated game of 2014. Exactly. I remember in in E3 2013. No, no, it was TGC I think, where they said that it was going to be slated for November 2014, and I was like, God. Yes, Witcher 3! And I was so excited. And then it got pushed back to January. And now it's pushed back to God knows when, but that's okay. CD Red, take your time. Don't release an unfinished project. Please don't turn into EA. Good God, don't turn into EA. I don't want... I don't want you to have to day one patch Witcher 3. Take your time, even if it's 2016. Take your time on this game. Make it perfect. Make it beautiful as Witcher 2 was. And God bless you for making these games. I don't want to see Geralt's journey end. I don't want to see Geralt's journey end. But if you really think it's time for his journey to end and pass the Witcher pendant on to the next hero, then that's your choice. And then, ladies and gentlemen, Witchers, animals, other folks, and Life Spiller 79, this is my top 10, top 5. Top 5. I'm so used to saying top 10 because that's one of my gimmicks. This is my top 5 most anticipative. My top 5 greatest Porky the Pig impersonations. This has been my top 5 most anticipated video games of 2015. I hope you enjoyed it. I notice I keep playing with my beard, but it feels, it feels uneven. And it looks uneven like if I... Anyway... You don't care about my beard. You don't care about facial hair. You you're just you're just here for the video and for the clicks. So I appreciate it if you click that like button. I also appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel and show me all the love and support that I show Witcher 3. No, I don't I don't want all that support. I'd get to like million subscribers by tomorrow if you showed me as much support as I show CD Red Project. Give me about half of that. Give me about give me about a pint of that love. And I will love you forever. Also, Remember to go check out C uh, uh, Life Spiller seventy nine. I was gonna go say like uh, go check out CD Red Project. Also go s check out CD Red Project. They're over here. This is their website. You can look up all the Witcher three nonsense up here. Life Spiller seventy nine over here. I already put an annotation of his face, but you can do it again because I'm awesome. Show support for his channel. Go over and subscribe to him as well. And you, while you're there, watch some of his videos. He's got some great videos. He's got a two-part series on his top ten consoles of all time. Was surprised at number one. Kept my heart pumping. And you can also check out his top ten indies, which is just it was just a spot in my heart because that video just touches on all the love that I have for indies. No indies other than The Witness made it on my top five anticipated games, and that was unfortunate because there are some serious ones that are coming out this year. Hyperlight Drifter, um, among among the tops. Titan Souls is supposed to be coming out, but I don't know. Um, I mean, it's just it's going to be a good year. Uh, hopefully, it takes a turn that 2014 and corrects the turns that 2014 did. Let's let's all hope as gamers together, gamers unite, keep on gaming. Let's hope that 2015 holds some wonderful things for us. Catch you later.